Welcome to Ford Power Force Tech Talk. In this series, we'll focus on tips to help you fix Ford and Lincoln vehicles right the first time. Modular variable cam timing or VCT issues can be hard to diagnose. Their symptoms often look like something else. Before you start performing a repair on what might be a VCT issue, you need to perform some preliminary diagnostics. In fact, these are good steps to take whenever you have concerns involving misfire, idle quality, or engine noise. First, check for diagnostic trouble codes, or DTCs, in the powertrain control module, or PCM. You also might find that cylinder misfire DTCs are present, but even if there's no VCT trouble code, this could still be a VCT-related issue. If there are misfire DTCs in combination with VCT-related trouble codes, verify that the VCT system is not what's causing the misfire. Also, if there is engine noise present, try to isolate the VCT system first. Turn the engine off and electrically disconnect the VCT solenoids. Then take the vehicle on a road test. If the engine noise is gone or changes, it suggests a VCT issue. This diagnostic step can be effective because disconnection of the VCT solenoid will lock the VCT phasers in place. It eliminates a lot of other systems that can cause the same symptoms, including the fuel delivery, ignition, and some base engine concerns. If the symptom is intermittent or there are no DTCs in the PCM, but the drivability symptom is present, then you want to use the Integrated Diagnostic System, or IDS. Check the VCT Advanced Error Parameter Identification, or PID, on both the left and the right banks. While in closed loop operation, VCT Advanced Error PIDs should hover around zero degrees. A difference of no greater than plus or minus five degrees for an excessive amount of time is allowable. Also, it can be helpful to monitor the activity of the percentage of solenoid duty cycle PIDs. Pulse width modulation should be the same for both banks. If there is significant disparity with the response on one bank, the PCM will try to make an adjustment for the affected bank by increasing the duty cycle. You can see that here while monitoring these PIDs using the IDS data logger. Note that some minor variation is considered normal. Use the Integrated Diagnostic System or IDS scan tool to monitor PIDs at idle. Make certain the VCT system shows closed. If the VCT system is in open loop, the system will be disabled and the PIDs will not be relevant for diagnostic purposes. Another technique is to drive the vehicle and attempt to verify the complaint. Get a second technician to watch the IDS screen while driving to see if the VCT system stays in closed loop and to watch how the VCT PIDs are reacting when a drivability condition is present. You can make an IDS recording of active PIDs if a second technician isn't available. If the drivability concern is verified and VCT PIDs show excessive variation while the concern is present, this suggests the symptoms are related to the VCT system. When diagnosing VCT issues, it helps to take a systematic approach by exploring four main areas of investigation. Oil pressure, excessive oil bleed off, a restriction in the oil passages, and mechanical failure. Motorcraft replacement oxygen sensors are designed for maximum performance. They use the same components as the original factory installed equipment, and the units come ready to plug and play. No modifications are needed. They also feature OE connectors and wire lengths for proper fit, and tight tolerance ranges to help minimize repeat repairs and false check engine warnings. And when you're choosing parts for all of your repairs, remember that Motorcraft parts feature a two-year, unlimited mileage warranty. That's all for this post. Thanks for watching. And check out the rest of our series of installation and repair tips for Ford and Lincoln vehicles. For more information on Ford or Motorcraft parts, contact your Ford or Lincoln dealer or distributor or visit FordParts.com.